Well, first I'm going to start with Amari Cooper. I think Amari Cooper is a guy you should be trading for. Even though he's missed the, the last couple games, he's the guy that kind of makes this whole thing go. He's the, the, straw, the straw that stirs this drink for the Cowboys. Dak Prescott is much better with Amari Cooper in there. Uh, I think down the stretch you're going to see them kind of uh, get him more involved and, and they're going to take off offensively. The next guy is going to be Hunter Renfro. For some reason, he's just been lights out the last month of the season. And with Darren Waller possibly having that IT or uh, yeah, the, the IT ban injury, expect Hunter Renfro's catches to go up. And so for me, I love this. Look at the targets, the yards. He had a big day. Expect more of that. He's going to get it. He's going to at least have 12 fantasy points uh, for you. And I love that for him. So if we're going to get those two big targets for two of those offenses that score a lot of points, Maurice, we got to give up something. Uh, who are we trading away? So, listen, Sierra, don't be mad at me because it's, it's, it has nothing to do with you. But Also, call me, by the way. I mean, you can hit me up if you like. <laughs> Russell Wilson, look, he's more named than he is game right now. And it, and it hurts me to say that because I have him in multiple fantasy leagues, but he hasn't played well since coming back from that finger injury. And so, uh, for me, it's, it's Russell Wilson. Try to trade him away. He may have a big week this week, and if you can, if you can try to get as much value for him. But just right now, their team is not playing well. He's not playing well. It's just not a good matchup. And then Josh Jacobs. And, and the thing, this is the thing with Josh Jacobs. It's all about their schedule, right? He ran well this week, so you can probably trade him for a high value uh, before the trade deadline. But it's just they're going to load the box and try to stop him if there's no Darren Waller. And it's going to be on Derek Carr to throw the ball a lot more than what's been going on. So to me, it's it's, it's time. He's playing well. It's time to let him go high and try to get you another piece on your team. And that's the thing. If you're trading away Josh Jacobs, there is value there. And it's not trying to take advantage of somebody, but somebody legitimately could just believe uh, that he has a better opportunity than you do. And, and that's how trades work. Everybody should win. Build each other Most up. Most of the time. Yeah.